This video is about making a cosmetic bag. So let's get started. Bag, you will need the following. The sewing pattern, and as the sewing pattern says, we cut a pair for the exterior, so we want two of the exterior. Interlining if you're using a really lightweight fabric, lining and a zipper that's about 26 centimetres or more. What I've done is I have prepared my fabric by stitching, um, overlocking all around the edge to prevent the edge of the fabric from fraying. On top of this, I've also decided to cut myself a pocket piece. So we're going to need two pieces of fabric. Here's the pocket pattern. And I've also prepared around the edge of this uh, fabric as well to prevent it from fraying. You will need some zipper tabs. My zipper tabs are roughly six centimeters in length by eight centimeters. And as I mentioned, you are gonna need a zipper that's 26 centimeters or more. I have also decided to add myself a small little tab to go on the inside of my makeup bag. And that's probably just gonna hold my keys or tweezers or something. Is we need to transfer those marks onto our zipper and I've already started to do that. So I put a pin in on the zipper, line the zipper up where I want it to be in the center. You can see my zipper is much longer than I need it to be and there's a reason for that. Using my Taylor's chalk, mark both sides. The nice thing is because I've got a pin in that tells me where it's gonna be on the other side. Do the same again. You want those marks in, it really makes it easier for when you put your bag together. Open out the zipper. And we are going to whip stitch the end closed by the first mark. So my tabs. I've got a little bit of remnant fabric. I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm gonna cover that stitch line that I've just made. And then I'm gonna pin these little tabs down. So with your pockets, you've got a pair. What you're gonna do is put them right sides to right sides and we're gonna sew a one centimeter seam allowance. And then you are going to, let's pin it down. And then when you've stitched it, you're gonna open it out Give it a really nice good press and that is your pocket and it's going to get stitched onto one of your lining pieces and we will temporary sew it all the way around so you're just going to use like a number five that'll be the biggest stitch and it, that is like a basting stitch so you're going to baste it to one of your lining pieces so let's do that Okay, so we're going to start putting this bag together. This is my exterior fabric. I need to know exactly where to put this zipper. So back to these little notches we discussed earlier. I need to make some marks on my um, exterior fabric to tell me where this zipper is going to be placed. And then I'm going to do the same on my lining piece as well. Put my lining piece down and I just want to put those marks in. It'll just make it easier for later. So, so we'll start with our exterior fabric. We've got our finished zipper. Face down is my zipper. We're gonna make like a little sandwich and I am lining my zipper up with the edge of the fabric 
so it's all nice and neat. My zipper is open. We're going to need it open for later on. Then, going to put my lining piece on top. Using your zipper foot, you're going to sew all the way along. Okay, so I've got the first side of my zipper on and I what I did was I opened the bag out and I made sure that the lining seam allowance was laid towards my exterior fabric. I'll turn it this way. It was, I ironed my lining seam allowance towards my exterior fabric so it was all laying, laying one side. Let's cut that off. And then I top stitched along my bag. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have our lining fabric down first this time. We put the zipper bag on top. Make sure you open it first. So it's lining to lining. The exterior on top. So we're making another zip sandwich. I backstitched and I've stitched all the way around the bag and I've left myself this gap, oops, I've left myself this amount of gap open in the lining. So we're going to turn our bag through now, nice and easy. But before we do that, we need to uh, reduce this fabric width because we've got quite a lot of bulk here. So you're going to diagonally cut the corners, let's do that so what I've done is I have cut quite close to the stitch line but I haven't touched the stitch line I've made a little step here and what's going to happen is I am going to fold back I'm going to fold back this lining piece and I'm going to iron that open and that's just going to, that fold there is just going to really prepare for when I um, turn everything back because we need to, once we've turned the bag out we need to uh, stitch this fold closed So I've turned my bag out and what I've done is I've just given it a really good press. But I'm really pleased with this. Looks good. And the zipper works nice. So I'm happy. I also, I made another one. This is my second one. And what I did is I just put um, a little loop on the outside for my car keys because it's always nice, uh, nice to have um, them handy but they make great presents and when you're going out, it's great to take out as well. So, enjoy it. Make some and show me the results. Bye for now.